Hello, WC fans. Jay Biggs here standing with Brandon Gasson. Tonight, Brandon, you are going to go one-on-one -on -one with a big feud with gentleman George Michael in a 20-foot-high steel cage. What are your thoughts on that, man? <laughs> See, what I'm, why I'm excited tonight is that for the past months and months, George has eluded me. George has gotten out of sticky situations with his faction. But tonight, I have a cage in between separating the faction from him. So when we get in that ring, George, it's you and it's me one on one. And we'll see who the better man is. And for some reason, something's telling me that I'm the better man because I'm not the one that keeps eluding the other. Well, definitely we're going to find out tonight in Portland. A 20-foot high steel cage as gentleman George Michael takes on Brandon Gasson right here tonight. Quite a while, and it's culminating inside the 
up here, 20 foot high steel cage, Brian. It all took place last month when gentlemen George Michael and Brandon Gasson fought in a singles contest. Right when Brandon Gasson had the match won, gentlemen George Michael left the ring and got himself intentionally counted out. That's when Brandon Gatson demanded, erroneously I might add, a cage match against gentlemen George Michael. And in a true abuse of power, co-owner Jeff Manning agreed to let this match happen, superseding the authority from general manager J.T. Allen. And so now this is what it's come down to, a cage match in Portland, Oregon, between Gatson and gentlemen George Michael. And in the steel cage match, probably the most dangerous match in all of wrestling. We've seen chain matches, coal miners, glove, Texas death, but the steel cage, no one can get in, and the only way to win is to leave the cage on your own power. That was where we almost had a pre pre match outside of cage scuffle there. Yeah, we might we're get to the space though. Gentlemen, George coming around. Like the music says, Gaston is fired up for this contest. He wants to put away Gentleman George, yes? Jerry Sousa, you better be talking very well about Gentleman George Michael because I will come over here and I will put you through this table. Right, you better be, you better believe it. This is a plastic table, it doesn't have a whole lot of give. Wow. Where do I go with this, Brian? Well, you better listen to him. Or do you want to cross the box? Do you want to cross JT Allen and Gentleman George? Let alone go through the table. Look at this, Gatson. Gatson right up above us. Gatson showing no fear. Some people have a fear of heights, but not this man. He is fired up and he wants to get this cage match. He wants to get started. He wants to throw Gentleman George Michael from pillar to post. Yes, indeed. He is ready. And say what you, say what you will about Gentleman George Michael. He's ready as well. Look at They're this. both ready. J.T. Allen seems trying to prevent the door from being closed. I'm sorry, General Manager, but it's got to start some sooner or later. Once the door is locked, the match will be officially underway. That lock is in place. No way of getting out of the door unless uh, the wrestler makes the motion that he's ready to escape. There's the bell, and here we go. Both men circling. Making sure the door, making sure that the door is tightly shut. Unless they go on a real crash diet, there's no way they're going to get through that door if it's chained shut. Joe and George going after him. The bell rang. We're underway. And oh, he's George trying to get out. He's already trying to get out. He wants to make this match as short as possible. Look at that. Oh, going to work as Michael. Series of punches, kicks, just putting the boots to Gatson. Climb on the side. Michael wanting out, obviously not getting paid by the hour. He wants to get because he knows. Oh! How, whoa! He knows how dangerous this match can be. Case in point. Take a look at this, Brian Zane. Right in the thingy pudding. That is no way to go. That is the proof of the pudding. Down goes the uppity Brit. Right in the bangers and mash. That was just brutal. That was a cruel move by Brandon Gatson. He's got this crowd fired up, Brandon Gatson does. He's got George, roundhouse right. Making a pair. Series of tackles. Tattling him like a tackle dummy. Oh, Gatson, is he, maybe he's a, he wants to get out of the ring too. Climbing up. Too early. Now, Punch. the only way he can win this match is escaping through the ring. Pinfalls will not cut it here. Or climb over the top. Vicious turnbuckle whip right into the corner. And, oh no! This. Joe and George, he's got brass knuckles. Look at the size of those things. And in this match, it's everything's legal. Look at this. Whoa! Ducks under. Oh, what a chop! Another chop! Now we've seen George Michael bring in some foreign objects in the ring of the twist. Those mystery foreign objects, but I've never seen something as clean as that There's brass knuckles right there. Line. Those brass knuckles, they're on the ring apron. 
still within reach. I mean, pretty much anything goes with this match. It's, it could be a mad scramble for those later in this match. Possibly be. Suplex. Oh, very nice textbook snap suplex. Very good. Yes. Leg drop right across the throat. Brandon Gatson, very agile, very quick. Has a long history with a dance background. He's very quick on his feet. As you've seen in his matches, he can fly through the air with the best of them. And here you see Gentleman George with a low blow. Oh, goodness. Brandon Gaston was on his way out, but not right now. Well, according to me, Brian, the proof's the proof in the pudding. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Gaston, I, in, in this match, there's absolutely no rules. You can do anything you think you're big enough to do. And, oh, no. 